Okay, so that is the stickers painted over. They disappeared pretty quick under that paint. It's had two coats of uh, primer on there. So I'm now going to put the top coat on. It's the only tin of paint I've actually bought. So uh, hopefully it'll be okay. Because to be honest, I'm not exactly sure what colour it is. I tried to get a colour that was similar to that. But the thing is, it was on a little tiny, on eBay actually, on a little colour chart, about the size of half a postage stamp. And uh, it looked okay. But when it turns out, I have no idea. I'm going to open this tin and it could be Fingers crossed, people. Okay, so it is Meccano paint. And if you look on there, it's enamel gloss, color code roll 1006. So we'll see what we got in here. Fingers crossed, it's not horrible. I guess it's packaged well up because it came in the post. So, let's get these things off. Find that in a minute, I pinged off. Okay, so what colour are we going to have in here then? What do you reckon? Pink? Pink? Pink's quite nice. Blimey. Oh, that looks a bit yellow! Okay, so we're basically going to have a yellow trailer. Hmm, I wasn't planning quite that. So, anyway, not that that really matters. I'm okay with that. Lovely. Oh, it's very thick. I mean, this stuff is way too thick. I'm going to have to get some paint thinner in it. I can't I mean, hardly spread it. It's thicker than the stuff I was uh, worried about using. Okay, so we're on take two of this trailer now. So uh, I did uh, stop yesterday because of the thickness of the paint. I've been down to screw fix and got myself two litres of white spirit, which is also paint thinner as well as brush cleaner. I'm going to put, mix some of that with it. Because the problem is I've got, if I put too much on it, it'll be too thin. Um, and then I'm going to try and get some on the trailer. Let's hope we can get this right. Of course, ideally, it'd be better to do it with a spray gun. But I haven't got a spray gun. So I'm going to do it with a brush. But I don't want to put it on too thick, otherwise it'll run. Right, I'm going to have to decant some of this because I think if I put too much... Look how thick this is. Okay. Lovely. I've also got a new brush, look. Way, new brush. Put too much white spirit in there, I won't have enough room to mix it. So, oh. be enough for now. Give me a sturdy stick and we'll see how we go. Still need plenty more in there, I think. Okay, so I've had a bit of a nightmare really with this. I just stopped what I was playing around. I've put a whole two litres of this stuff in and it's still blooming thick as hell. It's a five litre paint can and I've put two litres of, of white spirit in and it's still really, really thick. I think it's not mixing up very well either. So, this is all, I've run out of white spirit now, believe it or not. I didn't think I'd need much in there at all. But this is all I've got, so I'm going to have to do it, whatever. Okay, crazy. I've had to go down to screw fits and get some more white spirit. Flipping it, if I put much more of this in, there'd be more white spirit in there than paint. Let's see how we get on anyway. Better. Maybe a little bit runny, but 
I'm gonna get I can paint with that. Okay, let's go. Let's go painting. day where you think you shouldn't have started it today's the day so basically I start, I started with paint I couldn't mix up because it's too solid got it runny started painting it <laughs> I'm, I'm painting a banana now look at how, look how yellow this is I don't even see how well yellow is this glowing it is glowing um, the paint's blooming running everywhere and as much as I try and smooth it out with the brush it's not smoothing so I just you know I just bought blue. So anyway, I am, I am going to end up with a funky farmer trailer, which is certainly day glow, and everyone's going to know where I am when I'm out in it. It looks particularly a bit worse now because I've the undercoat showing through. This wasn't the colour I chose really. I didn't on the colour chart, but I'm going to have to live with it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what it's going to look like when it's finished. Farmer P, if you want your trailer back now, I've got a banana trailer. Anyway. Uh, I'll probably go around and like, just see. Let's have a look at the contrast there. So, the colour on the right was what I thought I was getting, just a gloss version of, of that. The colour on the left is what I've got, which is like a JCB yellow. Hopefully, by the time I've finished it, it won't look. Because you can see, let's have a look closer, you can see how the undercoat's showing through. But uh, anyway, I'm going to carry on round. I've done that side. I have done this side as well. And said it's, you can't really judge it for sure until it's finished, but um, certainly everyone's going to know where my trailer is. Right, we'll have a look. When yeah, I'm done. yeah, yeah. Tell them where sunglasses. I think it'll be all right then if they, uh, they don't look out the windows too much. Okay, cheers. Okay, so that was a phone call from NASA. Um, they just phoned up. Apparently, the uh, the old um, astronauts in the in the. Uh, space station up there um, are getting a bit of uh, glare off of this trailer so uh, hopefully uh, they, they can sort themselves out we're not looking out the window too much anyway we are here back on the trailer again today it's very windy today I hope there's not too much blow on there on the microphone we are with my glowing in the dark um, trailer I've actually decided I'm going to live with this now I kind of think it's okay uh, wasn't okay when I first um, started doing it but now I've kind of accepted it and it's just like I got a JCB yellow trailer or a Twos chip trailer because I noticed our old yard scraper and um, transport box is yellow but also I've got a Norton sticker yellow a trailer so you know do you know what everyone's going to know where I am with this thing so the funky farmer has got a funky yellow trailer in the meantime I'm going to put a second coat of paint on this and uh, hopefully I'm going to get the kids over this weekend when this is dried and maybe we'll get the stickers on it. Okay, cheers guys. Oh, it's windy. done second coat of yellows on and the more I look at this the more I'm actually liking this color now and I think it's kind of turned from a kind of bit of a cock up to kind of let's face just a bit quirky um, so I've got my yellow trailer now uh, hopefully I'm gonna get the kids over and we'll put the stickers on and then we're pretty well done on this we'll just have a quick look at the finish though and I'll just show you what what it's like okay so we if you've got your sunglasses on you'll be able to see what I'm doing here um, so after I did that last bit of video I actually thinned the paint a bit more with another litre of um, paint thinner would you believe it? I put four litres of paint thinner into a five litre drum of paint and it's not gone on too badly this side um, good enough for hand finish I think and the front here 
I think it'll get too, you get too close to these things and you worry too much sometimes. This side is the disappointing side though. This is where I first started when it was really thick and you see it's rippled there quite badly. But the only thing is it's got a nice smooth finish now and it'll clean off. I mean in theory really it wants painting with a, because this, this is still quite a rough finish on here. Really what it wants is a nice smooth paint on the inside but I, I don't think I've got the time for that. And I think I'll just see how this lasts. So um, that'll just stay as that rough kind of grey. It's still a vinyl top coat for pylons. I think it's pretty industrial strength so it should be pretty good really. But this stuff's smooth actually, you know, you can clean it off and wash it off quite easily. But hey, it's a muck trailer. It's probably 20 years old already. And really, how much am I really going to worry about this? It's not going to be used that often. So we get the Norton stickers on at the weekend, hopefully, and then we're done. I was just, I was just saying earlier as well about the Twos yellow. This is an old yard scraper we got. Very old, it's just used as a backup spare and the paint's coming off it now, but you can see the yellow on it there. And we've also got a transport box, the same colour. So uh, I've got almost a Twos trailer, although it is Norton. And don't forget that, boys, because you'll see the stickers soon.